We here with Mitch Garver. Yo, great year last year. Just take me through the whole process with, with the starters and, and how you was able to get the boys on the same page and, 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 and have us a, a great year like that. Oh man, it was it was a fun year, man. We as a squad, like together, we we blended together really well. Uh, we played some great baseball, and, and it was fun to kind of see our team grow and develop. And and you know we had that name Bomba Squad, yeah. but but our team wasn't based off that. You know we won a lot of games, uh, close games by by playing the game right, getting a guy in from third, or, or you know driving the ball around the yard. And uh, one of the big reasons was our bullpen, man. Our bullpen came through that second half of the season and just crushed it for us. Now, Miss, when you when you win 101 games, obviously come to spring training it's expectations, right? They come on you, they, they they just lay on your shoulder until you sort of you know go out there and ball again. When you when you when you look at the team assembled, you bring in Josh Donaldson, you move your boy Sano over to first base. But overall, you happy with the roster and how it's sort of been assembled? Very happy, man. We're we're coming together just the way we want to, and uh, adding Josh is a big piece. Not only is a great player defensively and offensively, but he's he's a good leader in the clubhouse. You know, he he makes sure guys are accountable and doing things the right way. And and uh, to put Sano over at first base, we're we're really excited about that because he keeps his bat in the lineup every day, and and that's a bat we need. And, and for you, what's some of the things you work on in spring training to make sure, like, when do you get ready and when do you start feeling good about, you know, not not the plate as a hitter, but you got double duty. You got to go behind the plate and make sure you're on the same page with all your pitchers. Yeah, that's that's kind of priority first is, is getting behind the plate and making sure that the guy in the mound feels comfortable. Uh, that's priority number one. And, and it, it goes early with your relationships. Like, how do you meet these guys and, and talk to them about what they like to do, their tendencies, you know, what do they want to work on this spring, and, and make sure that those first few weeks in those games that, uh, you know they're getting what they need to get done first, and then and then offensively, obviously you got to put in a lot of work there too. Like you said, double duty. So you're in the cage every day and, and just improving and, and trying to figure out what how guys are going to attack you this year. You know how are they going to attack you? What do you have to do to counter that and, and work on those throughout the games? I played with your manager Rocco Baldelli in, in Tampa in 08, and, and same dude ain't changed. How was it play for him? He's a great dude. Yeah, man. you know you know how he is. Yeah. He's, he's really calm. You, you never see him get worked up over anything and. And I think that translates really well to our guys because we've got a younger team and, and, you know, guys go out there and they play free and easy. And, and that's what he says is, is a relaxed ball player is a good ball player. So that's how we try to be on the field. And and uh, it translates really well for us. Absolutely. Oh, I appreciate you coming. I'll give him a couple minutes. Thanks, Have a great year. Thank you.